Well, Dear Evan Hansen is now playing at the Hobby Center, and you still have time to check it out. That's right. Channel 2's Christine Noel sat down with one of the cast members and explains the powerful message behind this story. It is a letter that wasn't meant to be seen, a lie not meant to be told, a story about fitting in as well as mental health, and it's all playing out at the Hobby Center. Here to talk about Dear Evan Hansen is one of the wonderful cast members, Stephanie La Rochelle. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. So this is something that you're part of the show. You play Zoe Murphy in it. Talk about if you've never heard of or you've been wanting to see Dear Evan Hansen, what is the story about? So without giving too much away, the story is about a boy, Evan, who tells a lie to help a grieving family, um, that being my family. And uh, social media sort of plays a role in it, and the lie sort of spirals out of hand, and um, he sort of learns a lesson in the end, but there are some sort of consequences. It opens up a can of worms, we'll say. Okay, and Zoe, your character, what is her role in the film, or the, the, the show? So Zoe is... Um, um, she will say, without giving too much away again, we'll say that she is Evan's love interest. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. This show is wildly popular, has won Tony Awards, it's a musical. Talk about how the music really helps tell the story. The music in this show is fabulous. Um, again, like you said, it won a Grammy Award for the cast recording, and uh, it's very, it's a very contemporary musical, so the music is very, it's sort of pop heavy. Yeah. Um, it's very catchy, it's, it's music that you'll, you'll want to like dance in your seat and sing along to. Um, but the, the music is just so powerful and it really helps tell that story for sure. Yes, I, I love the music. I love all the musicals. Like you, you're sitting there in your seat and you're like, yeah. And I asked you before off camera, how many times have you performed this? And she said, I've been in over a hundred of these shows. And I asked like, does it feel different every time? That's the thing about live theater is uh, we try to we try to keep it, you know, the same. The sort of the borders sure. of the show are the same. But within that, I mean, it's just really cool to, to play off other people and there are little things that are sort of changing every day. Yeah, that's probably makes it exciting for you too. Absolutely. So who is this show for? Is it for just adults? Is it for kids? Who who it will receive this message well of this show? I think this is a show for, for everyone, um, people of all ages. I think it's great for families to see together. Yeah. Um, I think that everybody can sort of see themselves in at least one of the characters on stage. Um, and I think it's a show that definitely brings people together. And like you said, it opens up a conversation for mental health and erasing that stigma. So. Um, I think it's really great for everybody. Yeah, that led into my next question. What, what's the takeaway? And it sounds like this is really a, a conversation starter for folks. Absolutely. And I think the takeaway is different for everybody, which that's what I love about this show. It's so raw and intimate and real, and everybody can sort of, it's sort of a cathartic experience for everyone, and they can take something different away from it. But I think one of the big songs in the show is called You Will Be Found. So I think it's, it's really an anthem for people struggling and maybe afraid to speak up about their issues, and um, it, it just just really like rounds it out and I think everybody can sort of walk away feeling uplifted and like they're not alone. Good. Well we're yeah. so happy to have you here in Houston. We're happy Thank to be you here. For taking time to talk about the show and again Dear Evan Hansen will be at the Hobby Center until November 24th. We have more information on the show on clicktohouston.com.